Hey everyone, it's Jason with Onward Up. Here in Camor, Alberta, where it's snowy, it's cold, and the ice climbing season is just around the corner. And today I'm going to chat through uh, the Petzl Crampon range and give everyone a bit of a breakdown on the crampons. Um, but specifically, I want to talk about the switch crampon system from Petzl. Maybe the first thing to touch on is the two different types of binding systems that you can get when you purchase a pair of crampons. So you're, you're going to have your choice. Um, the first would be the lever lock fill system. And this one has uh, kind of the classic bail in the back. So it means that you need to have a boot that has a shelf or a ski boot that has a shelf that you can get a firm connection there. And then with the front for the lever lock field, it will come with the wire. Okay, so a little more technical connector on the front. And then also the softer front flex. So you can switch those out based on the type of boot you have. So if you have a boot that doesn't have a toe welt in the front, let's say like this one, you could swap it out or maybe your boots are older and the welt is getting worn down, so you're not getting a secure fit with the wire, you can switch that out, okay? So lever lock feel is gonna come with those parts, okay? Your second choice would be the flex lock system, okay? And this comes with the flexible heel and front. So this is meant for boots that um, don't have any shelf in the back, they don't have any welt in the front. Maybe it's a snowboard boot or something like that. Or if you have um, some of these, you know, kind of um, mountain running type shoes that are coming out these days, they're a little bit stiffer, but they don't necessarily have the technical kind of connection spots for your crampon. Okay. The next important thing to know would be that all of the binding parts are interchangeable. Let's talk about the switch system. So in the beginning, you're going to have to buy one set of crampons. So you always kind of start there. And typically, you're going to buy you know, the set of crampons for the activity that you do the most or that you're into at the moment or maybe just the season that you're in. Okay. So you know, I've got a few uh, you know, my kind of favorites um, that I'll touch on there. If I'm buying one crampon for you know, steep ice climbing and technical mixed climbing, it's going to be the dart. The dart is very lightweight, very stiff, it uses a very strong steel. It's very modular, so I can switch the two front points to a mono point for mixed climbing. I can also move the points forward and backwards, as well as adjust the uh, front wire and um, the lever at the back, front and back. So I can get a really, really precise fit with my boots so that the points are sticking out just the right amount. The points that are on the bottom are very technical and they're designed for you know, hooking and raking rock and ice features and they feel really, really secure. Okay, so that would be the dart. If I'm uh, you know, in alpine climbing season and I need to buy a new full set of crampons uh, and I just had to pick one, it would be the Basak. And the Basak, again, is relatively lightweight it comes with a very durable anti-snow plate. And um, you know the point configuration is designed for classical mountaineering and that kind of scratchy, um, you know, kind of technical alpine climbing. Again, this one will come also with the soft front. So depending on the boot I'm using in the alpine, I can get a really good fit there. If I'm into ski mountaineering, so steep couloirs and gullies, and uh, technical entrances to my ski lines and that type of thing, I will go with the Urbis Hybrid. And the Urbis Hybrid is the front part of the Urbis crampon that we sell. So this is steel, so it has really good security um, when front pointing in ice and really firm snow. And then the back is actually aluminum. And this makes the crampon quite lightweight and it also folds up very small and it just comes in a little stuff sack like this, which will hold uh, your pair of, um, of crampons, okay? 
I would also go for the Urbis if it's um, kind of the height of summer and I'm really into, you know, kind of uh, alpine rock climbing and that type of thing. So I want something light and really compact. Okay. If someone is getting their first pair of crampons in the winter time uh, with the idea that they're, you know, really going to get into ice climbing, but they're unsure of, you know, what type of climbing they're going to be doing in the summer, um, whether it's alpine climbing or classical mountaineering and that type of thing. A great choice for them is the Lynx, and there's a few reasons why. Um, the Lynx it was designed to climb ice and mixed uh, very well, but also be a good all-around crampon for use in the alpine and on the glaciers. And there's a, a few reasons for that. Uh, one is it's very modular, so dual points that can be changed to mono point for mixed climbing. Um, it comes with the soft bail in the front as well as the wire and again you know you can move all of those pieces forwards and backwards so the bail the points and the rear bail so the kind of saying goes is you know there's no boot that the links can't fit as long as it has a shelf in the back for this type of bail um, the secondary points are similar to the dart so they have texture to them and they're angled uh, to provide good security while kind of raking and hooking ice features and, and rock. Um, but it does have these additional points right here, which the dart does not have. And um, these are angled in a way that it gives you really good security when you're using flat foot technique on you know, steeper ice faces like you would see on you know, north face climbs and uh, that type of thing. Uh, this one also comes with the heavy duty crampon bag, which has drainage in the top, really durable materials. So you can put them in there and put them in your pack and uh, keep your clothing and that type of thing protected as well as the crampons. From there, you can switch out the front part of the crampon once you figure out uh, you know, what your preference is for activities in, in the summertime and uh, get the best uh, tool for the job. So that's the links. Let's say I'm starting with my dart crampon that I bought for steep ice, steep mixed climbing. When the seasons change, let's say it's summertime and I'm going alpine climbing and uh, I want to switch to a Vasak crampon. We have the Vasak front piece that just comes on its own like this in a box and it's really simple. I can just take the heel off of my dart just like so. I can remove the spacer bar like that and then with my Vasak there we go, a little snug there. Uh, I can put the spacer bar in and simply reattach the heel. And now I have a full Vasak crampon and I can remove the wire from the dart and put it uh, on the front here. Okay. Um, you know, likewise, let's say, you know, I'm really getting into some steep, pumpy, you know, tricky mixed climbing, and I'm looking to have the lightest, most technical crampon setup that I can get. I can switch the points to mono point mode, so the crampon would look like this. So I would just use the supplied spacers. And then I could use the kit Cortec. Okay, so the aluminum heel, I could put the anti snow plate on and then use that really strong, really abrasion resistant Dyneema cord. And then I would have an ultra light technical crampon that's gonna work really well for the, the steep, really kind of hard climbing. And it's gonna work well with these boots because these boots are very stiff. There's no give really in the sole. And that's the only way that you can use um, that Cortex system for steep, technical climbing. Okay, you need to have a really stiff um, technical ice climbing boot. And then let's say it's mid-August 
and I'm heading to the Bugaboos or you know some other alpine rock climbing venue, and uh, I've already got my aluminum heel piece, right? I can take the Urbis front piece, which again, just comes on its own like this, and I can put those two pieces together, and I'll have a complete Urbis hybrid crampon, just by having that front piece. Okay, so that kind of illustrates a little bit of how you can start with one crampon and then you can work your way through the switch system um, just by the components to have the perfect crampon for the activity that you're doing. Okay, let's talk about the different components that you can buy individually on their own to customize your crampon setup. You can buy the dart front piece. This will come with two front points and the spacers needed to convert from mono point to dual point. You can buy the Sarkin front piece, which comes with the anti-snow plate. And the Sarkin is a good blend of technical and kind of general mountaineering um, points. So the front points are kind of hybrid. So they have vertical front parts to pierce the ice really well. And then they have a horizontal back piece to provide good purchase on steep snow. Likewise, on the bottom, there is some um, kind of additional texture to the secondary points for kind of raking on ice and rock for mixed climbing. And then your classic mountaineering points for using flat foot technique. The Vasak, again, with the anti-snow plate, classical alpine climbing and mountaineering crampon. You can buy the Urbis front, which you'll notice the difference here. Okay, this is a six point crampon as opposed to eight or a six point front piece, I should say. Anti-snow plate as well. This one is really good for general mountaineering combined with the steel heel or when combined with the aluminum heel with the kit Cortec, it makes a really light ski mountaineering or um, you know light and fast summer alpine uh, climbing, alpine rock climbing. Okay, so the Urbis front piece. Like I mentioned before, all the binding parts are available if you need to uh, buy one to, to switch out. And then you can also buy individually the kit Cortec. Okay, which we talked about. And the kit Cortec is compatible with these two front pieces only. Three actually, sorry. Um, the Dart, the Urbis, and obviously the Leopard. Okay. The Leopard is our only all aluminum crampon. So aluminum front, aluminum uh, heel and this one is designed for use only on snow. Okay, so on ice, you know, uh, the aluminum, because it's a softer metal, right, um, it doesn't have really good purchase. So, this is a great crampon for ski traverses where you're trying to go really, really light and you're just going to be using it on kind of frozen snow early in the morning to, you know, get up a call or something like that. And it's also a great crampon for kind of the scrambler, you know, um, who early in the season, they might encounter hard snow, right? And they're going to put it on, you know, their hiking boots with the flex lock system or something like that. Okay, so that is uh, the leopard. And you can put an anti-snow plate on here if you want. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I um, hope you learned some things about the Petzl Crampon range and the switch system. Um, if you want, you know, to learn more, um, we have lots of instructional videos and, uh, you know, kind of inspirational content over at onwardup.com slash campus. And we wish everyone a safe winter and um, hope everyone has, a, you know, a lot of good days out uh, on the ice, on the mix, and uh, on the snow. Thanks a lot.